Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this week's edition of Final Cut Help, brought to you by Creative Cow. Today, we're going to take a look at synchronizing material for a multicam edit. Now, the multicam features inside of Final Cut are very popular, and these work wonderful for programs, concerts, events, all sorts of genres. The key here is to get things to synchronize. Now, if you're working with high-end professional cameras and you have the option to send out professional timecode between the cameras so they're all synced, then it's a piece of cake. But a lot of times, that's not an option. Maybe you don't have the ability to generate sync or you're dealing with different cameras with different features. Let's learn how to synchronize cameras using a clapboard to really make this work well. So here we go. I've got a sequence open and I'm just going to drag these three shots into the sequence to get things started. There we go. And I'll let the sequence automatically adjust to match the settings of the source material. Good. Now. Let's go ahead and press Shift Z to zoom these takes back, and you see we have our three different angles. Now, one important thing to realize about multi-camera is that all the material needs to be in sync. You need to have the same frame rate, same frame size, codecs, etc. So we could do this here and scroll over and look at the properties. You'll notice that these three clips are all 720 by 480, 2997 shot DVC Pro 50, similar data rates and gone ahead and marked as anamorphic so they are all identical. And this is absolutely essential. With Final Cut Pro's multi-camera engine, you have to have things matched up. Otherwise, you can't create the multi-clip. So here's how we do it. Let's go ahead and just drag through the clips here and you'll see that we used a clapboard. Now a clapboard is a very standard thing on a production shoot and it works really well for a multi-camera shoot. All we need to do is step through until the clapboard closes and find that sync point. There it was. And if we just step back here, it's pretty easy to spot where the clapboard is going to close. Stepping back frame at a time with the arrow keys and take a look, there it is. Another easy way to see that is to actually turn on the audio waveforms and simply make the tracks bigger. And in doing so, you can quickly spot where the spikes are. Notice as we zoom in there that we have our clapboard right there on the hit. I'll go ahead and select that clip and press F for match frame. It takes me back to the original clip up here and then I'll press I to mark an in point. Now we're marking these in points because that's another way to tell Final Cut to synchronize clips is using their shared in points. Let's go to the second clip. Go ahead and go down a little bit, press the down arrow to go to the next clip and notice we could see the clapboard right there in the timeline. So I'll just move that until it lines up. And you'll see it close right there on the spike in the timeline. Select the clip, press F for match frame, and I to mark an in point. There we go. And let's do the last clip. Down arrow, take a look at our next clip here, and go forward until we find the clapboard. Looks like it's going to be right about there. And there's the clap. Select the clip, F for match frame, I to mark the end point. Now the process is pretty straightforward here. This particular multi-camera shoot had three different camera angles and what we're going to do is mark those endpoints and then synchronize them in the process of creating a multi-clip. Here we go. I'll go ahead and lasso around those three and I'll choose modify, make multi-clip. When I do that, notice that synchronizing using endpoints is one of the options. That works well, and I can click OK. And I now have a multi-clip that's all set for this particular edit. Let's just make a new sequence. File, New, Sequence. Doesn't matter what the setting is there, because when I drag in the multi-clip, it's going to automatically synchronize the sequence settings. There we go. And we have the multi-clip in there. There's our three angles. If we simply come up here and switch this to open, you'll notice all three angles are loaded up here in the viewer and the material is just about ready to edit. Now, there's more to editing multi-camera material and we'll revisit it in future shows, but this is the first step. Getting that material synchronized is very important. Once it's properly synced, it's a lot easier to edit it and get through the material very, very quickly. 
Hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Final Cut Help. I'd like to say hello and thanks to our brand new sponsor, creativecow.net. And you can check me out in their Final Cut forum, answering advice on Final Cut Basics. Thanks again for joining us.